if you look at your Google Analytics and you go into your data, if you go to the referrers and you want to see of the 336 session, uh, where did that traffic come from? You can just start typing referrers right there in the in that box in the search box, and you'll see that here you've got a whole bunch of spammy fake domains. BBB is obviously uh, legitimate. Yelp is legitimate. Um, but if you change this to view a lot more, you'll see a lot of junky domains that are sending you traffic. Well, these are called spam referrals and they're not really visiting your website. And if you go into the Google admin section and then over on the right side under view settings, you'll see that there's a box you can check that says exclude all hits from known bots and spiders. Make sure that box is checked and hit save. Unfortunately, Google's quite a bit behind the times and they don't really um, update that list. Those, most of those spammy, terrible domains will still be listed. So then you want to go back and you want to go to the filters area. Now, in this case, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use the filters over on the left, which is everything in this account. Um, he actually has uh, only one domain. If you wanted to do individual domains within an account, you would use filters here on the right. But I want to do uh, everything in his account. So I'm going to go here to all filters and I'm going to add a new filter. And then one by one, I can start putting in the domains that are giving me the most trouble. And I'm going to take one of the domains, freeshareButtons.com, and I'm going to call it freeshareButtons.com. And I'm going to say I want to exclude a, uh, traffic from the domain that contains and I'm going to put that domain again. Then I'm going to apply it to all views and I'm going to save. And all you have to do is do that roughly 5, 10, 15, up to 75 times or so as domains keep coming along and you'll have excluded those from your referral stat. Sound like a pain in the neck? Well, it is. And that's what led to us putting together this tool based on someone else's open source project at GitHub. Basically, you just come here while you're in, logged into Google, initialize your account, and then if you have multiple accounts like we do, you're going to have to select from the dropdown. Then you're going to select the domain that's in the account. If there are multiple domains, you can press Control and select multiple domains, and then hit Create and Apply Filters. Again, while you're logged in to your Google account with admin access, as soon as you press the button, It'll go through, it'll put together this list of filters that's 75 different spam domains. It will link those filters to your profile, then it'll tell you it's all done. And when you come back to your profiles area in analytics and reload, we should see all the spam filtering right there. Now, I wish I could take credit for developing this. I, I did not. Credit for that goes to this gentleman right here. Um, unfortunately, Google puts limits on how much you can use it. So he wrote a post about how it works. Um, he put the tool out there on his own website for people to work, and he's limited to an API quota of 500 write actions per day. And then he provides the invitation to download his source code. Well, I tried to use this uh, for three days solid and kept running into um, limits. The, the limit had been hit, the limit had been hit. So we downloaded the source code, put it together on our own, and that's what you're looking at here. Thanks and have an optimal day.